Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel with me, Monique. If you are new to this channel, I upload videos weekly about style, mindful shopping, travel, and everything in between. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would like to take the time and subscribe. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today's topic is all about Elsa Peretti. For those of you who don't know who Elsa Peretti is, she has been the jewelry designer for Tiffany & Company since 1974. If you have watched the Netflix series Halston, which was played by Ewan McGregor, you probably know a little bit about Elsa Peretti because Elsa Peretti is one of Halston's best friends and she also was a muse to Halston. Unfortunately, Elsa Peretti recently passed away in March 2021. Ever since her passing, I realized that a lot of the jewelry from Tiffany & Co that I really love in terms of design is actually designed by Elsa Peretti. That's why we're doing this video today. So here's a little bit about Elsa Peretti. Elsa Peretti was born in 1940 in Florence, Italy from a well-off family but she decided to leave all that and became a fashion model in Barcelona in 1964. By 1968, Elsa moved to New York and that's where she met Halston, of course. She was amused to Halston. She was one of the house models for Halston. She also walks the runway for Halston's uh, fashion shows. She first actually designed this jewelry not for Halston, unlike in the Netflix series that was portrayed, but it was for another designer, which is Giorgio di Sant'Angelo. Elsa is fascinated with sculpture and metallic surfaces, and you can definitely see this in her designs. She first worked for Tiffany in 1974, and it was actually Halston that made the introduction between Tiffany and Elsa Peretti. And ever since, her jewelry has been one of the best sellers from Tiffany and Company. You can even see her influence everywhere. Her design is very original with organic shapes. To her, style is to be simple. Her designs tend to be simple, but also very timeless. When she first designing for Tiffany & Co and started working with silver, it was actually the first time in 25 years that the company, Tiffany & Co, started selling silver jewelry. She definitely popularized silver again because at that time in the 70s, silver was not seen as very elegant or timeless and it's more like a boho thing. It was not really considered as fine jewelry, but because her design is very elegant and very sophisticated, a lot of people, especially people from her circle, including Liza Minnelli, um, Grace Jones, and so many others, started wearing her beautiful jewelry, and of course soon everyone else followed. Here are some of her iconic designs. The first one, we have the opened heart which is arguably maybe the most famous design by Elsa Peretti. It is an off-center heart outlined, very clean, very simple lined, and such a sophisticated design. I'm sure you have seen this design over and over again without realizing that it was designed by Elsa Peretti. And the second one, another iconic design from Elsa Peretti is the bone cuff. This is one of my most favorite designs ever and I'm bummed to this day that I did not purchase this design sooner because it is just so iconic and so chic. I've seen so many pictures of people wearing this bone cuff. You can also see Gal Gadot in the newest uh, Wonder Woman movie wearing this. She also wore this in the cover of Elle magazine and Margot Robbie also wore a cuff to a red carpet recently. So it is super iconic. Originally it was in silver. Liza Minnelli wore this cuff a lot but nowadays they also have this design in gold. It's such an organic form. It fits your wrist perfectly. Um, there's a left side and the right side because of this part it has a little bit of a curve to fit your actual bone. It was inspired by the bones of the monks that she had seen throughout her childhood in one of the churches in Rome. The next iconic design is of course Diamonds by the Yard. If you know Tiffany, you know Diamonds by the Yard. It was designed back when diamond was considered too formal to be worn during the day and it was only worn at night. 
Elsa Peretti designed this style so that diamond would be appropriate to be worn during the day. It's a simple bezel set diamond design on a beautiful dainty string and of course playfully to make it even less formal she calls it diamonds by the yard and you know now they even have colors by the yard and pearls by the yard i'm actually wearing the diamonds by the yard necklace this one is in platinum i used to have diamonds by the yard bracelet in yellow gold but unfortunately it fell off somewhere while i was wearing it without me realizing it and it's just gone forever. I actually have the unboxing of that one and I will link it down below if you want to see. Next iconic design we have the bottle necklace which was inspired by the ladies in Portofino who used to wear gardenias over their hair. So she designed this bottle necklace so that these ladies can put their gardenias in their necklaces with water so that the gardenias would last longer. I've seen pictures of um, the former editor-in-chief of Vogue Paris wearing this design. The bean is also another iconic design by Elsa Peretti. It comes in many different sizes. It symbolizes the seed of life and it has such a natural shape. I don't have a lot of jewelry designed by Elsa Peretti but everything that I have I really really adore and I would love to add to my collection very soon. First we have of course the diamond by the yard necklace. Such a timeless design is perfect for everyday wear. It is so light and dainty after a while I don't even realize that it's there anymore. Next I have this wave ring. This one is in yellow gold. I was actually looking at the wave bracelet but unfortunately they only come in size medium it was loose on me so i couldn't get it next is one of my most favorite which is the high tide earring in silver also comes in yellow gold and rose gold it's such a beautiful design it's very sculptural very beautiful i love how shiny the surface is. The design is so modern and timeless. Last but not least, I have the open heart lead crystal case. This is perfect to store your everyday dainty pieces and it looks beautiful on a coffee table or on top of your coffee table books. This was gifted to me by one of my best friends when I was leaving New York. Such a beautiful design. So those are the four things that I have designed by Elsa Peretti in my collection. In the future, I definitely would love to add more items from her designs and these are the things that are on my wish list. First and foremost is of course the bone cuff. It is so iconic. Number two on my list is the split cuff which is similar to the bone cuff but it has a split in the middle and it just looks beautiful i think if you're wearing the bone cuff on one side and you wear the split cuff on the other side it just looks so so beautiful so chic third on my list is the cabochon ring as much as i love diamonds and gemstones that are faceted and sparkle i really love when gemstones are in the cabochon shape as well the design of the cabochon ring is so elegant and so timeless. It's something that you can just wear on its own and it looks so beautiful. Number four on my list. I don't know when I will be able to get this because it is such a statement piece. So it is a big chunky piece which of course costs insane amount. Um, but the scorpion necklace it is beautiful. It's just the ultimate uh, statement necklace in my opinion. Um, it comes in silver and gold as well. Next on my list, number five, is the snake necklace. I love jewelry that has snake designs. I love snake rings, bracelets, earrings, anything, you name it. And of course, as soon as I see this snake necklace i fell in love with it it's just so beautiful if i can't get the necklace maybe the earrings in the future now last but not least on my list is the open heart necklace but i want it in a bigger size and 
with a really long chain so something like the way um, the actress that plays Elsa Peretti in Halston, the way she would wear these long necklaces with pendant. It's just so casual, not so dainty. It's perfect for like everyday wear. So that wraps up my video today about Elsa Peretti. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any jewelry designed by Elsa Peretti. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!